the North Shore has really been acting up lately, and I'm Detective Brown, and frankly, my partner and I don't really know what to do anymore. Each case gets worse and worse. Mike Barry, a kid who had it all figured out. Captain of the bowling team, dates whoever he wants. He's the kind of guy everyone wants to be, and no one wants to mess with. In fact, he just got a full ride to Montana Tech State A&M University, the most prestigious bowling school in the country. But one day, that all changed. What's up, boss? Brown, looks like we got a case. 18-year-old kid abducted yesterday around 3 p.m. Central Time. All right, looks like a fit for Michael Scar and Charlotte Brown. <laughs> you gonna bring Snoopy this time? I want you to quit with the jokes. It's, it's getting old, man. It's not my fault your parents gave you a stupid name. All right, we gotta get going on this case anyways. Come on. To investigate, we headed over to Mike Barrett's house. Yeah, looks about right. Good idea. Can I help you find gentlemen? Yes, ma'am, we're with the FBI. We should have a few questions for you. Come inside. The sparrow was a little bit sketchy, but we needed answers. I wonder if you noticed she was gone. When I got home around 3.30 yesterday, he was nowhere to be found. When did you know he was abducted? Couldn't he have just been out? Yes, that was a possibility. But when I got home, one of the windows were broken and the back door was wide open. I called his friends and the neighbors, and no one knew of his whereabouts. Well, does he have any, you know, close friends that he spends a lot of time with? You can see his girlfriend, Crystal. But I'd prefer you see his best friend, Dan Schneebly. That meddling Dan Schneebly. I've never had a good feeling about him. So where can we find this Dan kid? Let me go get his address. Here you go, sir. Thank Let's you. Go. Hold on, hold on. Do you have any last questions for us? Yes, do you have any fries to go with that shake? No, man. Food services is not within my jurisdiction. We'll let you, we'll let you know about yourself. We headed over to Dan's the following day. I stayed in the car while Scarn went and looked for Dan. Hey, get off me! What's going on? Get off me! Why'd you run? I don't know. Where's Mike? I don't know. Oh, so you're just running for no, from the police for no reason? Mm -hmm. Tell me something. Where's Mike? You're his best friend. And I know you know something. I don't know. You know something. Tell me, Fish. I have one thing that may help you. What do you have? His phone. Where is it? I don't know. Fine. I'll give it to you. Why did you have his phone? I don't know. He left it in my car, then the next day he got kidnapped. The story checks out. All right, I might need you for some more questioning, so don't leave town, all right, sweetheart? Hey. From afar, I noticed how intense scarring had become. He gave me the phone, and we headed back to my office. All right, pull out that phone. Look at look at my sister and Dan. I know that kid has something to do with it. You know, I'm not so sure. I honestly think he's just scared of two cops being outside his house and didn't know how to react. I don't know. I mean, clearly Mike's dealing with some shady business, and Dan just all of a sudden has his phone? Something doesn't seem right. I think these two kids have something to do with the recent drug outbreak in the area. 
Wait a second. I did not say anything about a drug outbreak. What are you talking about? I'm not saying it's for sure part of a drug outbreak. I'm just saying there's been a recent drug outbreak in the area, and you know kids these days and their drugs? Bro, even a kid like Mike Barrett can get involved in this kind of scene. I don't need you treating me like I'm some sort of criminal. No, forget it. I'm out of here. That night, I was extremely confused, but I decided to do a lot of research on both the drug outbreak and what may happen to these kids being kidnapped. I figured maybe I should call somebody. Hey, maybe I should call Mrs. Barrett, but didn't know or didn't think that was the best idea. So instead, I had to go apologize to Scarn and make up for things. Oh, hey, hey, Charlotte. Oh. Yeah, I just want to apologize. What the hell is that? Huh? What the fuck is this? No, no! <laughs> Yes, it was me. I'm the drug dealer of this town. I'm the one who kidnapped Mike. I'm the one who killed Charlie. Charlie. He never really got it. It's it's the bad who get paid. You can sit around and try to try to be Mr. Nice Guy, but it's not gonna work. You, that's not how you're gonna get rich. So he got in my way, so I killed him. And Mike, he's just one of my drug dealers who couldn't give me my money, so I took care of him. He's not dead yet. I put him in the back of Charlie's car. They'll never find him. And I remain the top drug dealer in town. So, it's a lesson to you kids. If you want to get paid, you gotta be bad. How you like them bananas? Agent Mosby, CIA. So as you can see, I'm not really Mike's mom. Mike's mom died seven years ago in a tragic Scrabble accident. But anyway, we were suspecting this scar guy was bad for years now at the CIA. And now I finally caught him, and I know where Mike is. So that just goes to show for you kids out there, that crime does not pay. <laughs>